for calling the Yavapai County Treasurer's Office. We will be with you as soon as possible. Please have your parcel number or taxpayer ID available. We appreciate your patience. The Treasurer is the tax collector and can help you with matters pertaining to tax payments. The Treasurer does not set property values or rates. The Assessor's Office can help answer questions pertaining to property values, valuation appeals, freezing property values, exemptions, or changing your mailing address. The Assessor can be reached at 928-771-3220. To discuss the tax rates in your taxing area, call the authorities listed on the back of your tax bill, such as fire districts, school districts, or other authorities. If you are calling due to not receiving a tax bill, you may print one from our website at www.co.yabapai.az.us under Tax Inquiry. If you received a bill and it typically goes to your mortgage company, write your... Treasurer's Office, this is Cheryl. Hey Cheryl, this is Adam Kokish. I got a missed call from this number and I believe it was for Mr. Jacobs because I left a message with him last night. It was just 15 minutes ago. Do you mind connecting me? Sure, hold on one second. Thank you. This is Ross. Hey, Mr. Jacobs, this is Adam Kokesh. Did you just give me a call about 15 minutes ago? Yeah. yeah awesome. I yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for, for getting back to me so soon. I really appreciate that. Sure. So I, I just had some questions about you know the, the legal concept of, of your basis for taxation in Yavapai County. I'm a property owner and uh, just, okay. pay, just paid my, uh, my property taxes for the year. And, and I was, I was kind of curious if, because um, I've been seeing these these memes going around the internet um, that say taxation is theft. And I, I figured it's it's not really theft if, if you guys, you know, own the property, but you say that we own the property. So I was just kind of curious if, if you were concerned about this or what your take on the legal status of, of that actual ownership of the land property in Arizona is, or in Yavapai County specifically. Well, I think you um, you know, my background was in the title insurance business uh, before I've done this for the last 21 years. So I do think that you legally own your property, but um, because of the Arizona revised statutes, um, the government or the state and the counties, the county is actually a subdivision of the state, but any of the various taxing authorities through those statutes have the right to um, tax it. So... I mean, it is what it is. Well, so so it's, it's like I think it's like that around most of the country. Well, so so if I own my land, but you mm -hmm. come to me and say, if you don't give us this money, we're going to take your land, then it's then it would be theft, right? Then that that is a, a form of theft. This taxation, right? I don't think it's theft because theft would be defined in the Arizona Revised Statutes as a as a theft and they don't define this as a theft well I'm, i mean i'm talking about like the actual dictionary definition of taking something that doesn't belong to you right like does the, does the government own me as a citizen and therefore it owns the product of my labor and everything that i own as a subsidiary i think i think you're governed by the government through the constitution and the constitution gives the government certain rights to and one of those is taxation well, the government. And, you, know, yeah, the, the, you can argue. You you can argue whether it's right or wrong and all that. But it, it what it is is, from a pragmatic standpoint, it's a reality. It is what it is. Well, the, the Constitution says that only gold and silver should be used as legal tender. So we're already way off of that. But you're you're saying that that I do own myself and I do own my property, and that this is this is basically legalized theft through the Arizona Revised yeah. Statutes. And there's there's a lot of there's a lot of other um, forms of controls on your property too. You know, the cities and counties can do zonings. They can right. require permits to build. I mean, right. and and you can also have uh, restrictions recorded that make you have a certain colored garbage can. Yeah, it gets pretty silly. It goes on and on and on. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm so, not saying, like I said, I wouldn't, I'm not going to argue with you philosophically of whether it's right or wrong. It's oh, okay. just, it is what it is. You so know, so I mean, you're it, saying it, that 
that, that the way that it works that you see, because you said, yeah, there, I just want to make sure that, that under Arizona revised statutes, what you're saying that what you do is a form of legal theft. No, it's not a legal theft. It's, it's a form of taxation, and the Arizona Constitution uh, allows for it, and, the, and that's what happens. Well, that would make and it legal theft, different... right? Because you're taking something that doesn't belong to you. You're threatening yeah. to take something. I mean, you're saying that no, I own I my property, and if I don't give you this property tax, then you're going to take my property, right? That, is that correct? Gonna, that's, that's, what that's how I, it works. You know, Actually, I'm not going to take. Well, you're going to se- you're going to sell it by a lien. I'm going to sell a lien on it, and then if you don't pay in a certain period, the person that buys the lien will foreclose your property. Right. Yeah. Just like if you had a loan on it and you didn't make your payments on your loan, same thing. You're well, going to lose your property to a foreclosure. But that in a loan, that's when you don't actually have the title to the property. I'm talking about like me as no, a property no, owner in Arizona. Is you well, okay, well, I have property when you get a loan. Well, I, I have absolute title to my land. I have no loan. I, I own it outright in that sense. Right. So subject, what, subject to the government's authority to tax. That's right. So subject to that, also, that legalized theft under the Arizona revised yeah, statutes. And, and, you know, if they decide they want to build a road through it, they can probably do a condemnation proceeding and acquire your property through a condemnation. That would be and like eminent call, domain, you, right? Open, yeah, and you yourself would call that you would call that a legal theft. Well, I don't know. I don't would know you, that's I mean, what that's called. I would, would call it. I would <laughs> call it the government doing their job, and you, and you not agreeing with it is what well, I call. Well, hey, it. just because the government makes its job to steal stuff doesn't mean that it's right. But so, would you call it theft if if it was your property, and you, the government came in by eminent domain and said, "Sorry, we're we're taking your property to put a road through it." I would feel if I didn't think the road was proper and I wanted to keep that property with having a road, I wouldn't be happy about it. But I also understand that my rights are probably uh, subordinate to the rights of all the other people that that's going to benefit. So you know, well, it is what it, you know. Again, you know, I'm not I'm not going to argue with you whether it's right or wrong. It's just it is what it is. You know, it's what the it's the laws we operate under. You know, okay. Okay. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I appreciate. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. you, you addressing this directly for me. So, then, sure. se- yeah. separate from, you know, in your responsibility, uh, and what's your what's your actual title? I'm the Yavapai County Treasurer. Okay. So, do you think it's right for government to perform this legalized theft or rent for property that that it says that I own? I think it. I think it is. Le- I think it's right in the fact that you've got to have a way to fund certain government op- operations. And well, we, you've got schools. You've got jails. You've got police forces. And, well, I don't have any kids. Of, I mean, I don't have any kids. You're going to force me to pay for schools that that I have you know, no interest in. You, as a member of society, you're as responsible to raise kids as anybody else is. You're you're damn right. I do. So yeah. I have a responsibility to raise your kids. And you're gonna... I think you have a responsibility to educate them. Yeah, it's society. Yeah, you can't just drop out of society just because you decide not to have kids. Well, no, this is this is really uncivilized. This is you know antisocial behavior to say we're going to force you to pay for stuff against your will that you don't have a say in or that you, you disagree it's really with, right? Good. It's so you so, greater good. So you're okay with violating individual rights to property for the sake of the greater good through government. Yeah, just like I got to pay income taxes, and I, and some of that money goes to things I don't agree with, but some of it goes to things I agree with. But you know what? I we've got to have an army. We got to defend our country. Oh, hold on, no, that's a different. No, that's our, a di- hold on, that's a different proposition because that's un-American. Well, the American founders were against the idea of a standing army entirely, and and I will say that well, I'm, that I, I'm I respectfully. <laughs> well, I, well, see, I, I respectfully disagree, and I would think we'd be a lot better off if we had a, a civilized society where we respect individual rights, and we do things non-violently without coercion of government, and we, oh, we have peaceful, voluntary nice? ways. Wouldn't wouldn't that be nice if we could convince the rest of the world to act like that? I think I think that's utopia. I think that'd be great. Well, I'm but trying to I'm trying to convince I'm trying to convince you for starters. 
Well, I hope I hope that reality. <laughs> well, I hope I hope you would consider the possibility of, of moving to a more voluntary world, a more you know a less violent and, and more cooperative rather than coercive society. I'd, and, I'd and be I, on board if everyone else was, but I don't think I'm uh, rather cynical in my views of humans and uh, in this world. If you ever read any of your history, you'll find that uh, most things have been done in the name of religion and money and power. And it, it's a fact of life that human human nature is such that they're gonna they're gonna pick on the weak guy. Well, if, if you're one of the good goes. ones, then I, I hope it could start with you, and and that you could help move us in this direction. And even yeah. even to deal with those you know individual bad actors, obviously, you know when we have a police force that is you know and and, and most police at least at some level have good intentions of serving and protecting the and, and working in the interest of the public safety, but. They have government and politicians who we know are corrupt standing in between us and them. And, and even in, in that sense, I think we could do a lot better if, if we had people who wanted to serve the public able to do so without this violent, coercive institution in between us and them. And I would invite you, if, if you're interested in checking this out, I, I really would appreciate it if you check it out. If you have some time, I do a YouTube channel and I wrote a book uh, when I was in jail for civil disobedience that describes how we can achieve uh, a more peaceful, voluntary, less legalized theft-based society, and it's free at my website. Do, do you mind uh, taking down a website for me? Sure, sure. All right, it's thefreedomline.com. Three words: thefreedomline.com. And um, th you got my number, sir. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm. I've only been in the county for a couple years, and one of the reasons that I moved here is that it's a very freedom-oriented county. I think that, by and large, you know, compared to other counties in the U.S. You know, here in Yavapai, we have a, of a higher respect for, for individual rights, but still the, the idea of, a, you know, a property tax is, excuse me, um, really just I, I, morally abhorrent from my perspective. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can appreciate that, but uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's going anywhere. It's not going to end soon, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm working on it, and hopefully you can help right. when you can see the bigger picture and how, how easy it is if, if enough people realize, uh, you know, what you're aware of even even now, what we can achieve together in making the world a better place. Well, I, I hope you're successful. All right. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you, sir. Have Thank a good you. day. Uh, bye.